hi Becca here <laughs> and it's happening even though I've said it's gonna happen a million times before on this channel for the last six years <laughs> but I mean it this time I am going to finish Kilkeo Peak my YA dragon fantasy it's already at a hundred and ten thousand words <laughs> and I'm expecting it to I'm expecting to double that yeah, so it's gonna be a beast, but it's pretty normal for fantasy. But first off, I am graduating in a week. Like, how is that possible? And everything that I've learned this past year has helped me so much in how I market not just myself, but my books as well. So I put some of it into practice, but I'm really gonna be able to start implementing it a lot more after I graduate. And part of that <laughs> is publishing a new series. One I have an actual plan for, one that fits into my brand as a YA fantasy writer. And one that I have been frankly too scared and not confident enough to finish. <laughs> because that's why I haven't finished. Fear. Fear that I'm not good enough. Fear that I won't be able to put what's in my head on paper. Fear no one will like it. Fear everyone will judge me. <laughs> and why so much with this particular book? Because it's high fantasy. And that's the genre I grew up with. I loved it. I was obsessed with it. And it triggers my imposter syndrome so deeply. <laughs> I keep pushing this story away. So... <laughs> This isn't just finishing a book, because <laughs> I've done that. I've proven that I can do that. This is my conquering my fear therapy finishing a book. <laughs> uh, because I can feel it. It's time. It is time. Okay, I'm gonna cut away to footage I've done of my, get the camera over here a little bit. As you can see, I put all of the artwork and inspiration on my giant cork mood board. <laughs> I have the amazing artwork from Phoebe Wood where she illustrated my three main characters to perfection. I have the Pentarian symbol that I created, though I'm thinking the black and white one is better. Not sure how I feel about the colors. This artwork that inspired the whole book and how I imagined Kilkeo Peak to look like and I got a new mug, so that brings my dragon mugs up to five. <laughs> so plenty of inspirational cuppage to be filled with yummy drinks like water <laughs> to keep me inspired. And the map. The map whose file I somehow deleted. So yes, I'm remaking it. Oh darn, such torture making a map for my fantasy novel. <laughs> okay, I know I've said in previous vlogs that I was changing the name, but yeah, that was a big oops moment. <laughs> I was gonna change it to Firefall Mountain, if you remember, but then I was talking <laughs> to an old friend and we were talking about our old projects and they said, remember that script I wrote, Fire Mountain? I'm gonna turn that into a book. Um, I did not remember that title. <laughs> And their story is nothing like Kilkeo Peak. It's a modern day military thriller, so yeah, nothing like mine. But yeah, that's uh, that's just a little too close in titles. Just, just a little. So I'm back to Kilkeo Peak. Maybe I'll change it to Kilkeo Mountain, but Kilkeo is staying no matter how difficult it is to pronounce. Because if you're writing a fantasy, you're not doing your job if everyone can pronounce everything easily. <laughs> So what is the plan of action? I've forgotten everything, and I mean everything. So first, I'll be organizing the book bible, and glancing briefly over my Scrivener file, I can tell that I have so many differing facts, because as I was writing, I changed the lore, the politics, or even invented an entirely new race of people. <laughs> So all of that needs to be organized and corrected. I want to make a timeline for easy reference, maybe even pin it up on my wall. And I need to reread and re-outline as I go because I already know how much I want to add and change to the first girl's story. Oh, and side note, if you haven't been following along with this Kilkeo Peak journey, <laughs> I'm writing each of the three main character stories separately because they only joined together in the last few chapters and it helped my head in getting it straight and writing it. So I've written one fully, though I do want to change a lot of it. 
The second one is almost all the way through, but the third, I only have the first chapters and hers is gonna be beefy because it's lots of backstabby politics and intrigue. And she has a little pet called a Makuti. I did that on the fantasy generator and found that. I was like, Makuti, oh Makuti, that sounds so cute. <laughs> In my brain, I imagine it being like half cat, half magua from, from Gremlins. <laughs> so that is gonna be my vlogging journey on this channel for a while. You guys started on this journey with me. I figured we should end it together too <laughs> and have a book at the end of it. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm gonna start this week and I, I've actually already started. I've already started working on the map and everything, but on my Instagram, my author Instagram, I'm gonna be posting either a sort of vlogish style reel of each day as I'm working on it, plus maybe a post of all the sort of inspirational things that have been helping me with Kilkeo Peak. So that's, the, this whole next week will be dedicated to Kilkeo Peak and getting me in my right mind frame. But I still have one week left of class. So I have to do all those assignments as well. But then I am done. I graduate. My last day of class is this Sunday. I can't believe it. It just felt like that surge of excitement and nervousness because I haven't actually finished anything for the week for the class. <laughs> but it's so close. It's so close. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Well, hopefully you will join me on this journey, <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you guys are working on. Do you have any, uh, do you have six year projects that you have not finished and why haven't you finished them? Because <laughs> you're terrified. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next one.